Namaste. Today, in this video, we will be solving this multi stage graph by using dynamic programming. In dynamic programming, multi stage graph is solved by using two approaches. They are forward approach and backward approach. Forward approach is also known as backward chaining and backward approach is also known as forward chaining. So in this video, we will be solving this small distance graph by using forward approach. So we are using forward approach, okay? Forward approach. So in forward approach, we expand from source node and we have to substitute the value after finding the value of the path. That means we substitute backwardly. So it is called backward <coughs> reasoning. Okay. So let us expand source node. Source node is addition to A, B, and C. And its weight is 2, sorry, 1, 2, and 5. So they are not directly connected to terminal node, so we write it T. So this is DAT, this is DBT, this is DCT. We have to find its value, okay? That is DST, that means length from source to terminal node is minimum value of 1 plus d a t okay 2 plus d b t 3 plus d c t there are three parts so 3 okay and we don't know the value of DAT, DBT, and DCT. So we have to expand A node. So expand A. So when we expand A, it gives like this A4 to D and E. Yes, this two part it has 11 and dot 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 to T. And this is known as D, D, T. This is D, E, T. Similarly, that is D, A, T is equals to minimum value. Since there are two where two parts, so we use minimum value. 4 plus D, D, T. And 11 plus D, E, T. Yes, we have to find the value of D, D, T as well. So we expand D, expand D, and we get D to T directly, that is 18. That is D, D, T is 18. Similarly, we get D. ET is equals to what is the value of ET? 13. Yes, similarly. So when we expand A, we get DT, ET. And similarly, we expand B, C. And we get the value by the backward substitution. Yes, when we substitute the value of DT here. ET here we get DAT so DAT is equals to minimum value of 4 plus DDT is 18 and 11 plus DET is 13 so 4 plus 18 is 22 11 plus 13 is 24 the minimum value is 22 so we get D A T equals to 22. Similarly, by expanding B C, we get the value as this, like D 
C T is equals to four. D B T is equals to eighteen. D S T is equals to nine. Okay, these are the value we get by backward substitution of values. After finding D E T D D T D F T, we get these values. So similarly, we have to find a part. Okay, for finding the part, we write in the form of stage D. So first stage was let us see the figure. First stage was S. Yes. So first stage S. D. In second stage, there are A, B, and C. So two A. In second stage, there is B also. In second stage, there is C also, and in third stage there is three vertices D, E, and F. So in third stage there is D, E, and F. Okay, and in fourth stage there is T. So D, okay, fourth stage there is T. And note that in dynamic programming. The initial stage and final stage are marked as zero. So D to A means what is the value of D A T we have found? D A T is twenty two. D to B means D B T it is eighteen. D to C means D C T it is four. And D three T mean three D means D D T what is the value of D D T it is eighteen. D E T is thirteen. DFT is two. So for finding the part, we select the minimum value from each stage. So in first stage there is only one node and its value zero. So we select S. In second stage there are two node. So the minimum value is eighteen. So we select B. In third stage there are three vertices and minimum value is four. So we select C. In fourth stage, sorry, there are okay. In second stage, there were three vertices, not two, so we select C, not B. Okay. In third stage, there are three vertices. Okay, these are the vertices, so we select F because two is the minimum. F. And in fourth stage, there is T only, so T. So the shortest part is. S to C, C to F, and F to T. Okay, let us see. S to C, C to F, and F to T. And it is five plus two plus two is nine. So that is the shortest path from S to T. So this is the method to solve the multi-stage graph by using further approach of DP. Okay. So in next video, I will be solving this same multi-stage graph by using backward chaining. Thank you. Bye-bye.